A makeshift memorial here in front of the home of Rotary Estrada, a mother of three who was killed in what appeared to be a break and enter. I'm Natish Bastono on Torrance Avenue. We are now learning more about the alleged killer who had no fixed address or connection to the victim. Homicide squad and members of 54 and 55 division have interviewed witnesses and reviewed surveillance video. As a result of this work, I am reporting that an arrest has been made. Only a day after Rotary Estrada's funeral, Toronto Police have announced an arrest and charges in the case. 22-year-old Yostlin Murillo is facing one count of first-degree murder. The mother of three was found dead in her East York home in the early hours of May 26. Police believe the murder was committed sometime between 10.30 p.m. Friday night and early Saturday morning at 2.15 a.m. Investigators say Murillo entered the dwelling through a side window. When police were called to the home on Torrance Avenue between Broadview and Pape Avenues, they found her lifeless body, citing obvious signs of trauma in one of the bedrooms. She was pronounced dead at the scene. I can say there was no relationship between the two of them. Detective Carbone also said Yostin Murillo has no fixed address, and at this point in time in the investigation, police won't say if Estrada was targeted or how she was killed. Investigators do believe they know Murillo's motive, but they wouldn't release that information to the media. Police did say he was known to them and that the neighborhood no longer needs to worry. Uh, right now, uh, I'm satisfied uh, that, uh, you know, because this person has been arrested, that uh, uh, the public uh, is, is, should not be concerned uh, for their safety. As for those living in that neighborhood, they were shocked last week to learn the death of a woman they described as friendly and overall a good person. Yeah, good family, quiet family. Uh, a father, a mother, three girls. Like, we were very shocked. We still really don't know what happened. But I know them are like a very good people and nothing. I have never heard anything, yeah. fights or anything. Suddenly I saw that one. I was really shocked. Now, anyone who's been in contact with Murillo before or after the homicide is asked to call Toronto Police or Crime Stoppers. Murillo will make his first court appearance on Monday. In East York, I'm Natish Pisano, City News.